Hello. If you've clicked on this video, I promise you that it's just a uh, short video uh, that's done to maybe encourage you and to inform you. But my name is Pastor Michael Matthews, pastor of the Faith Missionary Baptist Church in Roebuck in the beautiful city of Birmingham, Alabama. And I wanted to just take a couple of minutes and uh, share uh, some thoughts uh, for the month of October. I didn't know if you knew it or not, but according to the national calendar, uh, October is National Depression Education and Awareness Month. And I think that it is important that we do just that. Be aware and educated about the issue of depression. Uh, it strikes anyone and everyone. Uh, no one is, a, is immune, and we found that out. Uh, during the pandemic and as we come out of the pandemic some of our fellow loved ones and maybe even you are still suffering from depression but I wanted to share uh, a scripture that I want you to carry with you and that's from first Peter the fifth chapter the sixth through the seventh verse and it says therefore humble yourselves under the mighty hand of God that he may exalt you in due time casting all your care upon him for he cares for you and I think that is very very important uh, to know that God cares for you and I don't want you to forget that and if you are aware of someone who is suffering from uh, depression remind them of this verse right here that God cares for them and to just share with you uh, how important this subject is I was reading an article uh, from newsgallop.com and it says US depression rates reach new highs and the highlights in the story is that clinical depression and lifetime and current depression both hit new highs women and young adults have experienced the greatest increase blacks and Hispanic adults rising at about twice the rate as white adults so this is something that is very very important it is increasing uh, in our culture and I want us to get into the Word of God to find and stand on the promises of God and you can start right here uh, with this verse out of uh, first Peter but what do we do uh, about depression you know uh, or you may feel that you're depressed or you may not even know what's wrong or you may know of a family member uh, that is depressed and uh, you may not know what to do about it. Well, I don't have all the answers, but I do want to share with you uh, some resources that I found uh, that may be of some assistance to you. Uh, this is for information sharing purposes only. I'm not uh, endorsing uh, the quality of the services, but I'm hoping that when you hear this information that you will be a little more equipped than you were than when you first started watching this video. So one of the places that I want to share with you is called 988 Suicide and Crisis Lifeline. All you have to do on your cell phone is dial 988 and you will reach uh, a counselor and they will talk you through your issue and they will even uh, come up with a safety plan uh, for you to make sure that you leave them in a safe space to uh, be able to uh, set a foundation for uh, whatever treatment uh, you may may need and, and they're going to try to do their best uh, to get you where you need to go. Another place is located right here in uh, Birmingham and that's called the Crisis Center and the numbers are uh, on your screen. They have a crisis line, they have a rape response line, and they even have a, a youth line. So. I would encourage you that if, if you don't want to use the uh, 988 uh, crisis line, maybe uh, the crisis center here in Birmingham uh, could be of some assistance. Another one is uh, something many of you may have heard of, and that's the United Way. And the United Way of Birmingham has a service here called 211. All you have to do is dial 211, and someone will answer, and you tell them uh, if, that you need some help and they will help guide you to the resources that's available. 
and even if you don't want to talk to someone and you want to go to their website you can go to the website that's on the screen or you can just google United Way of Birmingham and navigate through their website and you will come to the 211 area where you need help and you can even click on mental health and that's what I have circled there on the screen click on mental health and then there's a drop down of some uh, various services that uh, they will guide you to so these are some things that are available but I want you to also know that even though we have those uh, practical resources physical resources available Jesus Christ is your best resource Jesus Christ is your best resource because he can do what doctors can't do even though uh, doctors uh, they have their purpose and uh, there's medicines out there that can help with the clinically depressed I want you to understand also that on uh, on this platform I want you to know that Jesus Christ is your best resource now when we first started out we were talking about the scripture in first Peter but one of the things that that is uh, hinged on is that you have a relationship with the Lord you need to have a relationship with the Lord and if you do then you will know that you can cast your uh, care upon him because you will know that he loves you and he cares for you but just in case you do not know uh, and you do not have a relationship with Christ I want you to consider uh, what God has done for you by sending his son Jesus Christ to die on the cross to uh, save you from your sins he shed his innocent blood and he paid that sin that that he did not owe and right now if you don't have a relationship with Christ you may be going through a time of depression where you you don't know uh, how to handle it and this is because the world that we live in is broken this is a sin filled world even you and I uh, we're born in sin and we are shaped in iniquity and so we have some ups and downs and and uh, depressions in life because this is an evil world but I'm telling you you can get through it if you have Jesus in your life and if you confess your sins he is faithful and just to forgive you of your sins and cleanse you from all unrighteousness so if you are listening to me and you do not have a relationship with Christ I want you to take this opportunity right now to pray this prayer that's on the screen with me and consider having a relationship with Christ because I promise you it will make a difference all you have to do is say these words Lord I admit I am a sinner I confess my sins to you I need and want your forgiveness I accept your death as the penalty for my sin and I recognize your mercy and grace is a gift you offer to me because of your great love not based on anything that I have done cleanse me and make me your child by faith I receive you into my heart as the Son of God and the Savior and Lord of my life from now on help me live for you with you in control in your precious name amen and if you've prayed that prayer I want you to stand on faith with me as I stand with you and know that God is faithful and I want you to leave this video knowing that you are saved but I don't want you to stop there I want you to go and find you a church home it is important that you fellowship with others that are a part of the body of Christ because I promise you there's going to be someone in that body of Christ that has gone through what you have, what you're going through and they'll be able to help you God has a way of putting together people in what I refer to as divine appointments and he will have someone there in that body to help you and walk with you because you do not need to go through these things alone but I want you to also if you're in the Birmingham area please consider uh, visiting us at Faith Missionary Baptist Church we're located at 9841 Red Mill Road in the Birmingham Alabama area and we would love to share in your newfound uh, position in Christ and we will help you uh, grow in grace help you become the best disciple that you possibly can but we will also help guide you so you can get the uh, the help that you need now we can't uh, promise any results or anything like that but we will promise that we will pray for you and that we will fellowship with you and we will worship with you and we will walk with you to the best of our ability 
Now, I pray that this video has been of some use or some encouragement to someone out there today. And if you know someone that could be depressed, uh, because remember, this is October and we're moving into November and December. These are the holiday months. So depression tends to rise around the holiday months. And know that someone who is lonely or depressed, they're, they're looking at empty chairs. They're looking at an empty bedside. They're looking uh, at the fact that uh, last year they may have had a loved one with them that's no longer with them anymore or their health may have changed to the point where they're not as healthy and they're trying to deal with those type of adjustments. All of us have uh, something that we're trying to deal with and sometimes uh, when we try to deal with it on our own it becomes too much and you can find yourself sliding into the valley of depression. So if you know someone who could possibly uh, benefit from this video please share it send it to them and maybe they can call one of the numbers uh, on the screens uh, that I've shared with you and most of all maybe uh, they will reconfirm their commitment to Christ and know that Jesus is the answer I pray that this has been a blessing to someone out there this is Dr. Michael Matthews pastor of the Faith Missionary Baptist Church uh, where we're bridging the gap between Christ and our community may God bless you May God keep you. This will be my prayer for you.